And on that note, we cue the music. It's me, Gary, and Nick. We are the oh, we? We're we are the of Bill's books, and let's get right into it, shall we? There's a lot of books to talk about you, today. You really shouldn't call someone with the name Nick that because Maybe. yeah, that brings up childhood trauma. Yeah, right. Everybody loves to watch Captain America punch out Hitler, so we've got a new Marvel Masterworks Golden Age Captain America collection for all you folks that like the classics. Uh, the classic superheroes. We've got this new hardcover from Oni Press called Petrograd. Uh, it's been out for a while. Uh, we just finally got it. Yeah, I thought maybe Nick ordered it, so I asked him about it, and he did not order it, but he is sorely tempted as... Uh, yeah, it's as a cool says. one. It's kind of like retelling of historical type thing. Uh, it deals with the... Like Forrest Gump. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. They anyway. make up their own history. Yeah. Got new Adventure Time. Everybody loves Adventure Time. Apparently. I still don't know anything about it. It's the most mind-trippy cartoon you may ever watch. Excellent. All-Star Western. You know how we feel about Jimmy Palmiotti and Justin Gray. Seriously, if you're not reading All-Star Western and you like Western comic books, you're a fool. A fool and a swine. Anyway. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, on that. Yeah. Uh, new Danger Girl G.I. Joe. I picked this up because I just love J. Scott Campbell's female artwork. Did you see the cover B? I'm not sure, did I? This no, one? I separated it. Oh, this one? That's Danger Girl Army of Darkness. Oh, so I'm just wrong. Anyway, um, so I really like Jake Scott Campbell's female art. Anatomically impossible, sure, but that's the way I like my women. Uh, what else we got? New Eye Vampire. We talk about this every time it comes out. Great mythology. There's really cool things happening in this, in this book. Uh, I don't want to spoil the ending of this issue for you, but yeah, I everything read mine. changes. You haven't read yours yet? No. Oh, I, I, I got my books home last night. I only read uh, All-Star Western, Which, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, sure. and Punisher. Punisher was good. The Invincible Iron Man. I told my nephew I would let him know when the new issue comes out. It's out. The new issue is out. That's so it is. check it out. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, we have Spider-Man. Apparently this is a one-shot. I was going to try and pick this up as a monthly Spider-Man book. As you know, I've been looking for a Spider-Man book to read, but apparently it is not to be. Yeah, for the uh, 50th anniversary, they did all the uh, point ones for Sensational, Spectacular, God. Web. They're just teasing you. Bastards. We also have a trade paperback called The Homeland Directive. Nick, you want to tell us about it? Because I don't know anything about it. It's it's, uh, it's a cool book. Uh, I'm halfway through it. I've had it for a while, but I put it down. What's the premise? Um... Or am I putting you on the spot? Yeah. Um, is it like Clockwork Orange, where when somebody asks you what it's about, you can't explain it to them? But it's, you, you can't. You but can't. You know, love it. You have to see what the Matrix is. Yeah, you right. can't be told. Serenity hardcover. Got that. Uh, Nick likes the little depressed boy. LDB baby. Nick Represent. is the Nick is the little depressed boy. We got Doctor Manhattan and the the latest number one. I think the last number one from the Before Watchmen. At the finally all of them series. Yes, they're all out. This is my vote for cover of the week. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. I think that's an awesome cover. Um, we got this sweet Daredevil hardcover. Uh, the David Max stuff. I oh, loved yeah. his stuff on on Daredevil. Um, I always buy anytime David Max at a show and I'm at the show. I always buy something for David yes. Max. Mind Management. One of my favorite new books from Matt Kent. One of my favorite writers. Don't forget your, uh, oh. what actually happened. Yeah. Yeah. Super Crooks. The final issue finally came out. I've, I've been Mark Millard. I was, 
I didn't think it was ever going to come out, and I was pleasantly surprised that it came out this week. Now he's got me hooked if there's going to be a sequel, and if I know Mark Millar, I know there's going to be a sequel. Well, I always enjoy how his final issues are always a buck more. Yeah, right. You, that's what you, you pay for the weight. Yeah. So, um, there's something else here. Where is it? Oh, we must have, we sold it. What well, was? The final issue of Scout, one of my all-time favorite series. Yeah. We have oh, a God. hole. We just sold the last one like 10 minutes ago. I love that series. A moment of silence for a great uh, uh, Vertigo series, Scalped. Monet Pache. Please edit in a fart sound while I'm doing that moment of silence. Anyway, uh, what else do we have here? We got Young Blood. That crazy Rob Liefeld went crazy <laughs> and did some crazy stuff yesterday. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> he walked away. Yeah. He was like a... Uh, a walking away guy. Uh, we've also got The Black Kiss by Howard Chaikin, the hardcover, collecting the first limited series. Notice it's in a bag. It's in a bag. It is straight up pornography, apparently. Because if I got can Canadians coming in here, I don't want them, to, you know. That's right. I can't wait to read my copy. So, Black pervert. Kiss. I am a pervert. Uh, this, speaking of perverts. Look at that young romance young right next romance to Black right Kiss. Next to Black Kiss. Actually, this should be before Black Kiss because this leads to that. Anyway, so uh, Joe Simon, Jack Kirby, Young Romance, everybody wins. Got this other cool little Iron Man thing this week that I would tease my thought I would tease my nephew with. Iron Man: The Extremist Story Arc, along with the Iron Man Motion Comic DVD and a little hardcover thing. How much is this, Nick? Um, I believe it's on the. Uh, oh, it's on the back. It's right. on the back. Twenty four ninety nine. What a bargain! Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, we got Keep Fatima, putting me on the spot spinners. like that. Oh, I'm putting you on the spot all, all over the place. This I enjoy that. I think I'm the only one in the story that does, but it's just yeah. a fun book. How do you go wrong there? I know. Got the new Punisher, as we talked about just a second ago. Oh, yeah. Good book. Sorry to see it's going to be ending soon. Uh, Savage Hawkman, also by, by Rob Liefeld. He's crazy. He did some crazy stuff yesterday. He went crazy, this guy. <laughs> and it was crazy. Anyway. Well, you missed one. What did I miss? Rachel Rising? Yeah, that's a great book. Tell us about it, Nick. It's Nick's pick of the week. Terry Moore? I mean, that's awesome. It's just, you don't know what's going on. The women are, you know, hot. Terry Moore drawn. The women are hot. Yeah. And it's, you know, always got a great story, great character development, supernatural overtones. You're not sure who's the bad guy, who's the good guy. Anyone ever read Echo, they should be reading that too. Sounds like real life. I, th I think I live it. Yeah. Then we've got uh, the new Untold Tales of Punisher Max. Looks like he's doing a little one-cheek sneak there, doesn't it? Looks like he's kind of maybe, you know, <laughs> since nobody's around, he's giving a deal. He killed the... everybody. There's yeah, no one to blame. Right. right. Uh, got the new Venom. I picked this up to show because it's got the Monsters of Evil in it, including Son of Satan, Damon Hellstrom, who I love, and he I might bad. actually have to read this. Go yeah. figure. The Son yeah. of the Devil went Son bad. Son of the Devil went bad. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I, I think they're just uh, messing with us. We got some great uh, swag this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you. The Evil Dead 2 action figure, second wave. Bill, in his infinite generosity, ordered the case, and uh, we got these in. I got my set, uh, and uh, apparently Antonio Lechuga also ordered a set. He's really helping me out, so <laughs> in case there's a third wave that I don't know about. But anyway, we've got Ash with his chainsaw hand and the crazy demonic laughing deer head. Uh, that's my favorite part. Yeah. That little accessory there. Although, yeah. the look on his face right there. Yeah, that, that terrified, dumbfounded Ash look. That's is, just great. And then you've got Henrietta, the uh, deadite chained in the basement whose eyeball pops out and lands in a girl's mouth. Classic scene, classic yes, scene. Yes, uh, portrayed with great discomfort by Sam Raimi's younger brother, Ted Raimi. If you read anything about the making of the movie, you know he was inside this and sweating his ass off the whole time. So, uh... We got those. We also got the. I, how do you say that? Bushujo? Bushujo? Bushujo. Japanese statues. It's hot girl statues. We got Mystique. And we got the Black Widow. She looks like she's doing a little one cheek sneak there, too. Here's the actual pose. But mm -hmm. it probably doesn't stink. Tight leather, gone. Probably doesn't stink. No. It's the Black Widow. It smells like roses. Or borscht. Uh, we also got this Avengers uh, Iron Man statue. 
showing that off also to tease my nephew because he will freak out when he sees that. Only $130. You too could Only. own one. Yes. Uh, all right, what's next? Oh, errors and omissions. Many times have I been wrong in the past. In fact, I'm wrong right now about how many times I've been wrong in the past. I counted. But last week, my error was grievous and unforgivable. I said Roy Thomas was the late, great Roy Thomas, the guy who worked on Conan. That's not true. Ernie Chan is the guy that worked on Conan that died recently. I blew it. Roy Thomas is still alive. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. The guy is a legend. He worked on such great comic books. And I tried to kill him before his time. So, Roy Thomas, if you're out there and somehow watching this, I apologize profusely, and I owe you a shot if we ever meet. You like a shot of whiskey. Of not like, not, I'm not going to shoot you. I don't have any... Okay, you this just is want make sure weird. You just want to make sure you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, anyway, so I apologize for that. Let's see what else we got. We got some other cool swag this week. We got some Avengers magnets. How about that? Everyone needs an uh, Avenging magnet. <laughs> Avengers refrigerator magnet. No Agent Coulson, though. He was my favorite. So, But it, it, I'm a certain age. My Captain America never carried an AK-47. I mean, even if he was going to carry a gun, would he carry a Chinese communist weapon? Or Soviet communist like weapon? Soviet, yeah. yeah well, the Kalashnikov was a great weapon. I mean, oh, it's could, a good weapon. You could pound the wrong. crap out of it and sure. it'd still shoot. Yeah, it's not like an M16. Okay, but this is the best thing we got this week. Holy crap. A USS Enterprise pizza cutter. You have to be a special kind of nerd to use the USS Enterprise to cut your pizza. I think if I bought this, I'd be afraid to cut pizza with it. I'm surprised people are still cutting their own pizza. Yeah, that's true. Isn't that true. what Domino's does? Yeah, but sometimes you get a pizza and they don't cut it all the way. Have you yeah, ever got that? But you get that bonus section from the other pizza. Yeah, that's true. That's good. That's what I just call bonus pizza. Bonus pizza is the best pizza. Okay, so what else do we have here? Oh, this week I also picked up, and I think Nick also picked up. Of course I did. Gonzo, the graphic biography of Hunter S. Thompson. I just finished reading it this morning. Hunter S. Thompson, you gotta love him. The oh, guy's yeah. a drug-fueled maniac, and he had his ashes shot out of a cannon after he committed suicide. Johnny Depp apparently helped shoot his ashes out of a cannon. Strange, but some great books if you ever get a chance. Not just that, but yes. any of his writing. I mean, he leans a little left for me, and yet I enjoy his writing. He dresses left, as it were. Anyway, the last thing I want to show you, I uh, met up with the the uh, fantastic Jay Fife last night. We had a little man date. We had some dinner, and uh, oh, did you? Yeah, I shaved my legs and okay. everything. Shaved my bikini area. Anyway, and he. Uh, did a couple sketch co uh, covers right at the table for us uh, oh. to sell in the store. So we've got the Mighty Thor with Loki. Nice. And we've got the Avenging Spider-Man with a Jessica Drew Spider-Woman sketched on the cover. These are both one of a kind. J. Fife Originals. Uh, we've got them priced at $30 a piece. 100% of the proceeds will be going to J. Fife. So uh, please buy these or go to his website and buy anything else that you see there that you like. So uh, until next time, we're oh. going to be doing a little internet uh, special thing. We'll show you what we got for sale for you this week on the internet um, right after we're done. But until next time, vaya con diablo. Adios, amigos. Look, you're recording. Hey. Hey, YouTubers. Here's the sale for this week, the internet-only sale. First of all, the code word is Bad Horse, who is the main character in Scalped, the great, late, lamented book. But this week, we're going to do 35% off. Oh, my. What? Yes, 35% off of anything that Nick's about to scan over on the top shelf here at Bill's Books. We're going to call this our top shelf sale. Uh, so, Nick, take it away. Show everything you possibly uh, want to give 35% uh, off on. All right. Starting, basically, right there. Okay. We're just going to scan across. If you see it, inquire. Price it. Unbelievable. 35% off. Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Collectible minibus. But I you know what? Already. Oh, is that another Indiana Jones what? there? It's 35% off. Oh, there's Watchmen. 35% off the comedian? It that's, can't be. That's not a laughing matter. That is not a Swamp laughing Thing matter. Swamp Thing statue. Swamp Thing statue. Any of those statues. Oh, Joker. Just inquire to Bill. Look, it's. 35% off. Yes, it's. I'm crazy. 
He's Just gonna fire me. Aquaman. We're done. Me and Gary are gone. This is it. We're both gonna we're get fired. We're both for this. can for this. Yes. Look at it all. Look at the Hulk. Oh, he's I'm trying to go as slow as possible. You guys understand this is an iPhone. The speaker, though, is not for sale. That's the, the story. Can I uh, buy the speaker? And actually, the Star Wars figures, those aren't ours. Oh, okay. Um, and then, oh, here yeah. we go. We got more. Oh, look at this. It's Batman. Batman and look, Superman. Batman. And Green, Green Lantern. Lantern. That's a lot of Green Lantern. Submariner. Oh, look my. at that. You can have all that bikini action. Oh, look at Zatanna's Zatanna. massive bust, mini bust. Oh, yeah. And then boy, that's boy, boy, a pretty boy. cool Wonder Woman. Oh, I like the More Batman, Batman Joker statue. What? Oh, yeah. Mr. And Freeze. that comes to the end. We end with Stingray. Oh, Anything Stingray. you saw there, guys, 35% 35 off plus shipping. Our prices are insane. insane. But wait, there's more. If you order now, we'll also give you anything on this for 35% off. That includes this magnificent Two-Face bust, this magnificent Harley Quinn bust, any of this stuff you see here. We have Thor, we have Superman, we have Solomon Grundy. He looks kind of like Andy Rooney in this one, but there you go. 35% off, even 35%, the Juggernaut. 35% but of course, off the Juggernaut. Of course, you got to take into consideration shipping on the Juggernaut. Yeah, everything is, yeah, yeah, there's shipping involved in all of that. And again, the secret code word is bad horse. Bad horse, like I got a bad batch of horse. Now we're whipping that horse. Yeah, so, okay, so act now and take advantage of these crazy prices before Bill shuts us down. Oh, no.